Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Sunsail campaign. This is episode 17. We pick it up from turn 76 in the harvest season of 209. So last episode, uh, we basically continue to make our push in the north and out here in the central plains. We have most of the Shandong Peninsula covered and uh, Cornwall is on the retreat. At this point, uh, even though we're trying to peace out with him, we might still peace out with him because I don't want to acquire any uh, bad diplomatic points with Liu Bei. Because if we destroy his good friend Cornwall, he won't like us very much. So we're looking for a peace deal and to get that we need to wipe out Zheng Jiang who is part of their alliance. So it's making the peace deal a little bit more difficult. So if we wipe out everyone in the alliance, Cornwall is going to be just able to give us a normal peace. And we'll be releasing his generals so that should help. So that leaves us with this battle in Dong, which is a regional city, very high tier. Uh, they also have a full stack as well as a backup stack as well as administrator. So pretty tough fight here. Uh, we're going to fight this. Uh, originally I wanted to go to the end turn and let them come out. But I actually think we can beat them. It'll just be a slow siege, but we'll get through it. Let's go. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in here. It's... Uh, the reinforcements coming from a weird spot. I don't like the fact that there's a lot of trees here. But I guess because they're coming from here, we'll have to siege from here. Mm, maybe from here is possible too. We can get some cross-firing action. That'll be fine. We'll focus on this door. You can see how, since it's a regional city, the towers are all these tier 3 towers with like two different layers. Uh, the weather is working in our favor so I think we will actually set up our siege right here we'll turn that off we'll call them one um, we're probably gonna blow some holes on this side maybe even ignoring that tower completely and we'll blow holes on all these walls here and then after that they can fire into the town from right here Okay, let's call them two. Everyone else just, you know, in a holding pattern somewhere over here. And that's it. Alright, we're going to get them started on the towers. There's so many troops inside, about 4,000. Now our men are here. Going to move them up. Now the range corp can take an angle actually. Oh, we lit it up. We should stop firing. Wasted a couple shots right there. Only need to get the on fire over 50%. Wasted a shot there. I will micro this real quick. Basically these two need to show up about right here without auto fire. Yeah, we're good. I think this is on fire. Yep. I'll work on that. Oh, we missed both volleys. Okay. It's over 50%. We're good. So now, let's straighten it out a little bit. We're going to light the town on fire too. Because there's towers inside. And we're going to hit each quadrant and just light the town up. And the burning settlement is actually going to lower everyone's morale. Just because of settlement damage. And whatever troop we hit, we hit as well. Now what I like to do recently is send generals up the wall. I find that pretty useful to kill all the range units very easily. So we're going to run him here. Are they in position? They are. Alright, we'll hit this quadrant first, maybe like this, into the spear units. And we'll light this part of the town on fire, and hopefully that town part of the town's on fire too. And then we'll hit something like this.
And then do the same thing there. I'm gonna turn off his dueling, get him dismounted, and have him climb up. Alright, we should be able to light that part out. Perfect. Just to burn the barricades as well. Alright, these are all on fire. Same logic here. Burning this will burn down that tower. These fires should spread. If they don't, we'll fire off another round. Yeah, and he'll have some fun killing these uh, range units on top of the wall. Like he's he should be fine. We'll hit their morale a little bit as well. Alright, I think we're good with the set everything on fire plan. We'll save our ammo for now. We will break the wall down to go in, but not right away. They're still not in position yet. John L doesn't have a smash attack, so that's a little annoying. Yeah, but we'll let him just kill whoever is on the wall and let the fire spread inside. You can see on their morale, settlement damage is a penalty. If we can light everything up, it'll be really good. Mm. I'm probably going to organize these guys into a group. Do you kill everyone here? Alright, this part's good. Everyone's off the wall, apparently. Uh, in that case, we'll go capture this tower. Oh, someone used our... This guy used our lasso to come down. Alright. Now that he's gone from here, I think we can start popping the wall. Well, actually, what's going on? Oh, there's people who's fighting him. Roar. Oh, bandit warriors. Okay, we can beat them. Anyhow, back to the wall. They're in position. I want to take this out just so that we can walk closer. So let's do that first. Might take us a couple shots because we're pretty low tier. I think these are rank three. Yep, so they're going to be wild. You'll miss a couple shots. No big problem. I think we can beat a unit of these guys. I mean, John Lyle's pretty boss with his high uh, evasion. We're taking quite a beating. There we go. Alright, we tore it down completely, which is fine. So now we can move up, and then we can fire at the troops inside. Perfect. And he beat back everyone. Charge up. Oh! He chugged a weapon in his face. Didn't see that animation, but... Oh, they're back. They want to fight? You get a lot of cool animations when you're on foot. Let's see if we can... Chase them. No, 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 get up. Do not go down.
We can't pop this wall because the horse is under there. It's a little annoying. You know what? Let's get our horse. And while we wait for that, we are in position, I believe. Or almost in position. Wait. Poison volley? Are we poisoned? He's missing. Okay. At least he's missing. That is pretty annoying. Alright, we'll move our horse over here where we're not going to blow the wall off. And then we're going to climb up to kill the archers. Now that he's gone... Can we not blow it just because the lasso's here? Because that's super annoying. Once it's been scaled, you can't break it. Guess we learned something there. Alright, they're in position. Time to unleash hell. Look at that. That crossfire. Are they out of ammo? They are. Okay, you guys can't retreat. You guys can also fire well. Alright, kill the archers. Wow. This crossfire is amazing. Wait. Why did he... Why did he get off? Alright, this is too much effort. How should we approach the settlement, though? Shield wall. Move them up. He's going to poison volley us, though. Can we duel him? Alright, I'll take him out of the picture. I'm fully assuming that we can beat him. Let's go kill off some range units. Hmm, I think we're doing this wrong. Moving them up too early. Okay, they're out of shots as well. They're good to leave. Alright, no need to be shy. Charge. These guys have insane morale.
Alright, we'll take care of all the enemy range units. We'll turn these off. Just in case they hit our units. Charge. I think we can win. He has nasty steel, but I think we can hang in here and beat him. We breached. Keep pushing. Alright, are we not going to win this? Okay, we're a little short on health. We might actually lose this. Alright, we have one health. They have 2.2k. Alright, we lost this. Uh, I'm start. I, I think the evasion... We might come back. It'll be close. Come on. Believe in the evasion. Come on, John L. Oh no. It was close. Get him. We made sure the poison volley didn't happen. The poor guy. John L got taken out. Alright, we're stretched really far. It's okay, we still have our cavalry in reserve. They're done. This group should all route. Take care of that. Oh, they got wiped. Getting hit by towers and everything. Yeah, not the greatest micro. I should be able to kill those. Cavalry is coming in, first group. Alright, let's kill that. They're going after our cavalry. 
Our archers. Mm, still a bunch of spearmen left. Let's charge this way. Take care of that. Strategist, stay behind. Pull him out. He's still on his horse. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Just pull them back. Go charge with those guys. Three. Hit these. Yeah, I think it's over. They're all routing. There we go. Pretty ugly fight. John L took a L as well, but not bad. Alrighty, so we took care of Don't Regional City capture. John L fell down. Um, no problem. We'll grab this. Um, I don't really need him. We'll release. He has poison volley, so we'll grab him. And he's the administrator here. I think we execute him. Alright. So we got the city. Let's see. John L. Pully picked up a bad trait. Lame. Okay. Not too bad. He's just not that strong because he doesn't have tenacity of steel. And the guy who we were fighting actually had it, so... That's tough. Um, I think... I think we do... Well, no, he's not in that army. It's in this army. Okay, he doesn't eat reach. So in that case, we come down for judgment. Alright. They need to rest up for a little bit, and then we're going for the small city here. Mm. We can have him lead. They also need to rest up, uh, at least for another turn as well. Let's see, we do want this to be rank 5. We can keep this, but we would like to convert it. This is useless. This is useless. This is useless here. This will keep... So we'll get this all to tier 5, and then we'll downgrade the city back down. We can actually... Oh, we downgrade next turn, actually. Ooh, that needs to go to Jian Ye. Li Dian's very useful, turns out. Surplus market. And Lady Wu can come boost industry. Right, waiting for that reform. And we can keep going. This is going to be our Imperial City build in the end. So let's just keep going. Changsha. Also waiting on reforms. We're actually we're going for palace here, aren't we? Right, here we're going actually we're actually going for palace. So let's keep upgrading in Dian Ye. Now, Poyang, if we upgrade one more time, I think the best building might actually just be a land development for population growth and food and peasantry. Labor is not bad as well, 40% industry, but it just needs different reforms. Basically, we need this reform just to get here to the tier 4, which we need shaft mining. Yeah, we don't have to upgrade it yet. Let's just say that. Alright, I gotta fly through these. Chengdu. Oh, I think uh, we can start downgrading because 
Oh, we're, wait oh, we're waiting for a tier for three forge. That's really not going to happen, actually. So I think we just start downgrading. Tier two is fine. Loyal trade ports. Let's make it a little stronger for defensive purposes. All right, we're going to wait till this hits five, and then we'll start downgrading this as well. Private workshop. Oh, they have a temple here. Oh, corruption reduction. Don't need the temple. Don't need the tax collector. I would love to convert that. Actually, I'll rush this first. There we go. Okay, so I think we're actually good. All our armies have moved. All our building has been built. We have money left over. All right, so no one I really want. She has 100, 100. I'm happy to keep it that way. She's in the same army that Cornwall is in. So we can have her turn on him at any time. We got ourselves another Poison Volley character. Yeah, he has Poison Volley and Tenacity, so he has a really good skill tree. Maimed. Tribal Exile. Oh, I haven't seen that background. It's a generic one for bandits, but plus 10% sh for Shock Cavalry. On a Sentinel? Interesting. Okay, he's he's pretty good for our faction then, because we can actually give him good Shock Cavalry. Like, um, Mercenary cavalry right here on him. So my, he's also kind of wasted. We can send him out um, somewhere. Maybe in the north. We'll see. Alright, everything's good. Let's go to next turn. Oh, so our sneak attack is not going to be so sneaky because he has to declare war on us. That's fine. We'll still sail down towards him. If he wants to fight us in the river, he can fight us in the river. And uh, nobody doesn't want to help us, so. Gong Sun Du declares war on us. That's interesting as well. Liu Zhang doesn't want to fight us anymore, but we want to fight him, so. Alright, new turn. We got declare war on us. Okay, our vassal is sticking with us. We now have a rank 9 settlement. So basically we have uh, our capital. And uh, we can upgrade to rank 10 for the Imperial City. This is in Jianye. And we're about to gain access to 10 regions, access to the Yellow River, uh, as we take more of these territories here. And then we'll get this uh, bonus, which isn't very helpful at this point in the game. Like, it's a late game bonus, and the fact that we get it in the late game when we already have all the prestige in the world that we need makes it really convoluted. All right, he's injured. But the army is still very healthy, the second army here. Barely used them. So I think we can actually have them come over here and take them down. Where is Cornwall's army? He was here. Oh, he sailed. Is he trying to loop around? Getting cute there. All right, we'll take that for free. Mm, can't believe it's medium casualty. I think we'll fight this and cut it out because there's no way this is medium casualty. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. Clean fight. Oh, one casualty. Relatively clean fight. And uh, we'll hold on here. I don't mind taking all of his territory as long as his army's on the field. His faction didn't get destroyed by us. We can peace with him at that point. Um, we want night battle here. And this army, I think, is healthy enough to take this, like, at least move to here. And then we can look for opportunity to, to attack that. Meanwhile, we'll upgrade this. Uh, we're not going to have spice, it seems. So in that case, we're going to get the mixed. And they'll rest up 
for two turns before selling for Ping Yuan. Alright, they're, they're fine. Our northernmost army, this is the cleanup crew. They're going to head towards Yemen, and then they're going to go back into the waters here. I know it's going to be more dangerous, but uh, surprisingly, Shou Fang is controlled by Yang Feng. So we should have clear sailing all the way across here. I'm not sure once we get near here, but we can take the farmland here and then use that as a base to launch armies and take care of their capital. So that's not too difficult. Down here, we did target them with them. I don't know if they'll go chase them. I hope they do. Meanwhile, we'll continue down south and ignore that army completely. He can finally take the tea house. Nice and simple. And then we're gonna... Let's see, who else do we have? Joe type right they have the tough job uh, first they need to I don't know maybe we'll let the cleanup clue take care we'll actually need to race against Cao Cao because Cao Cao has taken the livestock farm now too so he's one step so he's like one step away from taking that so we have to trespass and we might actually march because we can't heal anyways Oh dear. I hope Tals all crash and burn against this army. Okay, I don't think he can beat that. I hope he doesn't. Alright, that's going to be a close call there. Let's upgrade that. Yeah, this is a free take. Uh, I don't mind the casualties for this army. And then they're going to turn back instead. We're not going to have them push into the High Empire here. We're going to have them turn around and clean up the coast and go take care of all these territories here. So nothing tough for them left to take. Easy convert. Uh, that's not the right building here. This should be a tall build. We kind of saved the administrative uh, position just for them. Who should it be though? Like who should take that job? That's a good question. Food, public water, a little bit of construction discount. Peasantry, all sources. This is not bad. Glossa can take this job, actually. All sources, duty. Hmm, she's also pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll use our assassin girl uh, right here. There we go. And what are we demolishing? I guess we'll keep it in that case because we're going to go tall. We're going to keep that. All right, so they're good. I'm going to turn them around. They're healing. We have shared expertise. Um... Lu Meng's close. Let's get him finished before we move on to Jiang Qing. And Lu Meng. Not enough to level up. How close? Ah, he needs one more. Okay, that's fine. We need to do that at the beginning of the turn, next turn, to, to take advantage of all the building discounts that we'll get when he levels up. So I think we'll just keep going to Imperial City here. Just make that our big capital. Um, okay, waiting.
Ooh. They have a tier 5 marketplace. Interesting. We can convert this, but we need to be a small regional. See, how did the AI cheat? Large city with tier 5 buildings. Um, it's kind of a shame we don't convert this over. We're missing out a huge bunch. We only need to upgrade once, and then we can switch the buildings and then downgrade them back. Or we can just keep it as is, like this. And I'm happy with Beihai being like this, actually. It's in better shape than I expected it to be in. Alright, that's going to tier 5, right? So I think... Wait, no, tier 4. We need to wait one more. We can't downgrade just yet. Get a forge it here. All right, I want this to be tier five. This is tier five. Tea house. Okay, we're good to go. Let's check our spy situation. Ooh, a lot of people want to leave Yuan Shao's faction. I guess they're about to get destroyed, so it makes sense. Gong Sun Zan. Alright, no one we want, so... Let's just end turn. As we race for the capital here. Alright, they didn't take it, nor did they attack it, because I don't see them weak. So I don't know where Cao Cao's army went. Now, I don't want them to snatch that either. Oh, they went north. Okay, in that case, I don't even want Yemen. I want this. We're going to start the siege, but not finish it. I just want to siege so that we're the only one who can take it. They will probably come out and fight us. Ooh. We don't have a front line. You know what? I'm going to let Cao Cao have a first crack at it. We're going to run back here. I don't think he can beat it. Or at least that's my gamble. Alright, let's see. No enemy, hopefully. I mean, technically Ma Tong shouldn't be able to see us, because he has no vision here. And yeah, we'll be able to make the turn next turn. Not bad. Oh, oh. Lu Ji leveled up. Alright, bravery for charging the gate. Lu Meng. So right now it's... Discipline plus plus one. Oh, this is not the building one. The building one we already upgraded. This is our building one. Minus three construction time. That's no, okay. We would like some increased rank. Let's see. What's the bonus? Plus two rank. Okay, so plus one more. All right, out west, just snatching up land. I think we'll disband this group whenever we got a, a foothold in the northwest, and then we'll dump this group over because they're very seasoned. And Tai should say Huang Gai should be pretty good at helping us win. We got a local hero. Cheng An Ying. Not a very happy girl. Vengeful, temperamental, relentless. I think she can just go. No need to hog a spot. 
Anything? Nope. Alright, let's get that going. While we are here. Alright, I'll let them take care of all of this. I think we're going for the yellow turbans now. Softer target for our younger brother. Oh wow. There's no good terrain to get them. Well, so much for a softer target, but I'm happy to take down the old turbans. We'll declare war when we can actually reach them. They're resting up here. Alright, this should be super simple. Don't iron mine. Yeah, actually, they can come take the iron mine. They can take this and then sail over, or they can sail over. Coron's out at sea. Alright, barely any garrison. I'm gonna fight this one. Actually, we don't even need to cut it out. We can just delegate. It's fine. Jiangxin probably leveled up. Ooh, got an army. Oh, Jiangxin's not in this army. This. Oh, he is. He just didn't level up. Ah, uh, Xun Wei. Xun Wei. We'll get night battle. It's okay. We'll protect them. Can't we pop out? Hmm. We don't get the reinforcement. That's fine. Night battle this group. Uh, we'll fight this. They actually have a lot of interesting troops. Alrighty, it's snowing. We have a little hill behind us, which is awesome. It's going to be difficult for them to advance into us here. So we're just going to put it here. Put these guys right in front. They don't have traditional cavalries. They have range calves so we have to kind of run them down with our calf let's hide them first and then we'll rush out together if we could get a duel it would be great uh, we'll put the deployables on the map anyone willing to duel us? Ooh. We actually have a duel. He has hamstring. Okay. Let me borrow one. And then we'll borrow him as well. Actually, we'll borrow both. Don't worry. We'll try to get into range, let him challenge us, and then we'll pull him away. There we go. And then this way. I will have them lead the charge in the future. No, no, you come back. You, you. You're the dueling group. Alright, we'll pull him away. Uh, not very accurate. A lot of our troops are relatively new. Rank 6. I don't know, do we charge at the crossbows or do we charge at the cavalry? Not sure yet. 
We'll let the duel resolve first. They're still very far from us. They gotta wait till they get into each other's range again before they process. He's getting drawn out here so far. Okay. Getting through the forest and the fire is difficult for their morale. That's good. He's taking his sweet time. Alright, one of them have Wisdom of the River. Did we pull him too far? It's taking him forever. Mounted crossbow. No, I'm gonna manually fire now. They're aiming at the wrong targets. Oh, they have far. Oh, they're shooting that. That's fine. Eighty-five percent range block chance. No problem there. Yeah, light, light it up. Don't let their fury of Beihai get to us. The duel still haven't started. It's ridiculous. Alright, their Fury of Beihai is getting taken out. I think they can charge out. Alright, I'll give them range block chance. Alright, they're gone. Keep charging, don't stall. The duel is still on hold. Alright, our cavalry just wrecked. Still not in range. It's ridiculous. Alright, go this way now.
There you go. There we go. Damage resistance, increased attack, increased melee evasion, O Thorn bonus, guard passive. How do we lose this? And then we lock the enemy abilities. Just making sure we're not getting shot by anyone while we do that. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's watch the duel. He has a nice mace trait. We have the Ancestral Pledge Legendary Spear here. Oh, it's a big hit. Oh, that was not an that's not an execution. That's just a slash. All right, good win here. Alrighty. So he's not a bad guy. Good traits. I think we'll just release for goodwill. I think we're doing the just release policy with Korong right now. Alright, so we weaken that army. Uh, we can play double team. Don't iron mine next turn. Wipe out his last territory. And then peace out with him afterward. Uh, he's going to be floating in the river with our spy. What a bad life. Alright. And we have to target that somehow. I think with this army. Oh. Han Chong's willing to join us. Liu Bei's faction. So he is um, Han Sui's son. It's not bad. But he might be a spy, so. I think we moved everyone except for Sun Ren here. We're just headed back towards the trade port. Take us another. It's too long. Oh, they have a full stack. Shu Wu himself. I didn't think they had any armies left. I guess this is the army that claimed it and selling back right now. Do they have siege weapons? They don't, so they can't take the city. All right, I'm not worried about them at all. 11k income in Jian Ye. It's gonna go up more. Once we get to 5.6 million population, we get the full 200% income from all sources. Now, of course, we're going to start having rebellion issues, but that's not going to slow our population growth because faction-wide, we get f uh, 41k growth. Uh, it's going to be fine. Let's see. Waiting on reforms there. Waiting on reforms there. Let's pop this. Pop that. We're just missing one reform actually, and then we can actually downgrade this. Yeah, most of these are pretty much finished builds. We don't have to mess with them anymore. Alright, corruption reduction. And while we're at it, let's upgrade that. Hmm. Let's rush it. Yeah, Beha is really awkward, but I, I think we'll just keep it like it is. It's fine. I don't think anyone's attacking fully, though, so. Uh, wrong, wrong button. Upgrade. 
All right, I think we're good. Uh, just got to check on the spy actions. You know what? In case we lose her, we extract her right now. Leave Coral floating in the sea by himself. Even more lonely. <laughs> All right, not bad. Yeah, she starts out with poison volley. She's usually Yan Bai Hu's wife. Uh, she gets recruited by him on turn one usually. Anyhow, we're good. We're gonna go north with all these armies very soon as we have cleaned up most of the Shandong Peninsula here. All right, not much happened during that end turn. Mo Ye, there we go. Got a legendary sword. I think Zhou Yu can take this. There we go. And I think we're going to get the one with the extra administrator. Or we can get the tier 5 marketplace. And then we can start downgrading some places. And they also have access to tier 5 jade and tier 5 salt mine. Which are also really good. Because this... Like the palace building, I think we can wait. Like this will let us downgrade and save food on a lot of key places. So I think we get this first. Okay, philanthropy. Good for her. Let's start with our naval group. This is the most interesting happening. I'm trying to sneak attack Ma Teng. They declare war on us before we got the chance to really surprise them. But, right. So I think our goal is to grab this farmland next turn. Right, we'll snatch this, and then we can start dumping armies, and then he'll be so surprised that he kept his capital all the way in the back, and then we just went around all of this. Uh, he doesn't actually have much. Yangfeng has decent amount of territory here. Alright, we're continuing to snatch territories. They're not doing anything, so they're just waiting for the slow death. Meanwhile, we'll take the copper mine. Alright, and then we're just going to continue south through uh, Yunnan. There's an iron mine and a large town for us to take. And we're going to declare war on the yellow turbans, but we can't this turn. We don't need to do it this turn. Because we have to loop through to them. Actually, we can just declare war this turn. Why not? They're not super aggressive. They're not going to launch that army towards us. Alright, we'll be able to hit that next turn. They're most likely going to flee. It looks like a full stack, but it's all level rank 1 peasants. Alright, so Sun Quan's job is going to sweep through everything north of the river here. There's another faction here. There's another Shu brother over here. Over here, I don't see Shu's army. Did he pull into the trade port? Yeah, he did. So we actually have a fight here. So let's save that uh, for perhaps next episode because we're running a little bit towards the end here. Alright, the Don't Iron Mine, something we can brute force, maybe use as a save point over here. We'll attack this next turn. These two will double team here. One of them will go take care of Dong Lai. Probably this army. And Sun Tzu can continue up north. Ah. Where we got scared and pulled back. I mean, I think it's logical that we let Cao Cao take a first crack at this. It's not that easy to take. And if he does take it, we can actually uh, declare war on him because he'll be another empire, a uh, kingdom. He can take this too, because he took that. Alright, we'll come reinforce. Anything else going on? Alright, I guess we will resolve the matter and don't. Alright, 
Alright, now should be an easy delegate. Alright, Coral has officially lost all his territory. He's floating alone in the river. We're releasing him. Alright, they're going north too. You know, we might actually just declare war on Cao Cao. Depends. Because right now, we could also just recall this army and send them out west. Because we, we can actually send an army out. Actually, let's do that. Let's send this army out west. These guys don't replenish well, so the best thing to do is actually delete them, resummon, use the mustering trick, so that we can get them back to relatively full health. And they'll be ranked 10 anyway, so we don't lose anything. So I think we'll do that. Let's set them up. We're going west. Sun Tzu will be there to take the capital. Alright, now let's return. Let's finish up with this delegate here. And that will be our save point here. Alright. We got the only valuable commander in the north, Tai Yuan, so pretty happy here. I would love to see Cao Cao's army take a crack at it. Uh, the problem is we don't have vision, which is a little awkward. We could trade. We could trade territories, uh, buy this from Cao Cao, so that we have access to Zhongshan. Uh, but he has three stacks here. Even Liu Bei has a stack on this side. Or we can have an army cut through from this side to see uh, the vision there from Bohai. Um, either way, uh, things are going pretty smooth. Um, we're steamrolling everyone. Uh, Ma Teng did declare war, but I don't see any armies. Ah, I lied. There is an army. So they can take the trade port if they want. This is just going to stall. We can set up a defense here. Pong De. Oh, it's wife. It's husband, wife, plus best friend here. All right, we will set up a defense around Luoyang. Uh, we do have a ton of generals uh, still on the bench who we can use, including Sima Yi. So we'll set up a defense at the start of next episode, and we'll continue to grab the last two Emperor Seed. We're inching closer to victory. So see you guys then. Bye.